Hello, I'm Dr. Mohua Bhattacharji. Uh, in economics, we are doing the variable factor, uh, the factor markets, the price determination in the factor market. So, in the factor market de price determination, we have so long discussed on a single variable factor. That is, we have taken into consideration only one factor, that is the labor market, and we have determined that the MRPL or the marginal revenue productivity of labor determines the uh, the equilibrium wage where the MRPL intersects the sub the wage curve, uh, the supply of the labor curve. Now the uh, the question is that in true market, uh, in the factor market, in any production for in any form, labor is not only the factor which will be used as a variable factor, or it will it is not only the fa not only variable factor any factor. So there are many factors which will be used in the form. So how, when we take into consideration all the factors, then how the um, equilibrium is determined, that is a question which we will be discussing today. That is, well, our agenda today is that we want to know that when several inputs are variable, then what is the demand curve? Generally, when we have discussed that the a simple MRPL curve used to determine the demand curve of the labor, that is you want to you want to produce more and more labor so the additional the marginal revenue productivity of the labor will be going on declining from uh, from above that is from left to right so that one we have we knew that this one was a simple mrpl curve which used to say, uh, signify the equilibrium wages so when uh, when we take into consideration that there is only one wage suppose it is 20 rupees when this one was your equilibrium and so we considered that the OL1 is the equilibrium amount of the labor which is employed. My, and now let us assume that the wage has gone down to 20 rupees to 15 rupees. If we consider the labor to be the only factor then this again the equilibrium should have been would have been here and we would have got that with the decline in the wage rate the firm is able to employ more labor L1, L2. So this is the additional employment of the labor which is only possible when the wage has gone down from the rupees 20 to 50. But the question is this, that in a market, in a, for a producer, factor in a factor market, it, labor is not the only factor. There are many other factors which are also, which also gets influenced the moment a price of any one factor changes. So now, so long we have considered or in this definition we have just ignored or we have kept the factor market of the others constant. We did not take into consideration the influence of the wage decrease into the market of the machineries, into the, employ uh, into the employment of more machineries or employment of other factors or any other things. We just took that part to be constant. But right now we are um, in the position to discuss then more than one input is the variable one and it has been changed and then what will happen uh, in the equilibrium. This is our subject of discussion in the present class. So there is more than one, several inputs are being utilized. Now what will happen in this case? In this case what will happen when the when this wage has declined and you have considered suppose for example in addition to labor there are missionaries also which we are taking into consideration. So now what will happen? With the labor becoming cheaper, the marginal productivity of the capital will also increase because the productivity as more labor will be able to produce, uh, will be able to get employment and so the productivity of the capital also will be increased. And so for which what will happen? So you can uh, go on employing and uh, you can use uh, to increase the efficiency of the labor uh, or to increase the um, productive capacity of the labor, you employ more machineries. So what will, or you buy more machineries. So the moment you buy more machineries, your MP, MRPL curve shifts towards the right because you have added your machineries or your added capacity because the labor price has declined. The simple uh, matter is this, the labor has become cheaper, so the producer has got an extra money in his hand, so not necessary he will be employing more labor, he, even if he employs more labor, he need to have more missionaries also with him by which the total productivity will increase. And so with this increase of the productivity, the marginal revenue productivity will also go shift towards the right. And so at this and this with this shift, this is the curve MRPL 
2 is the new curve and where it is intersecting the new wage line 15 at the point this. So if we name this the original point A and the next point is B. So at this, at this point B we get the new point when we consider the several factor as a, a several variable inputs in the market and so we understand that this is the equilibrium point which has been introduced and it is not by the original MRPL1 curve because MRPL1 curve would have only shown you the line or the movement along this line will only show you the influence in the labor market but we are taking into consideration the shift in the price of the labor and the influence in other market also. So it is automatically understood that when the price will be decreased, the machinery's capacity will be increased with the buying of the, because MPK will be increased and with this MPK increased, MRPL1 will be moved to MRPL2 and so this intersection and now this joining together original intersection point and the new one, we get the demand curve of the labor and this is called the DN. I hope you understand this is the de demand curve of the labor which we get by joining together the original point which was with the 20 rupees wage and with the fall in the wage when we shift with the MRPL2 and then intersecting the new wage line that is with the decline in the wage at 15 and this two points when joined together we get the demand curve of labor when several factor is variable. So with this explanation we understand that movement along the MRPL curve only shows a demand curve or MRPL curve at that point is of a single variable factor and this is this shift and this movement and this intersection uh, intersection of the wage curve on this line will only tell you the equilibrium in the labor market but when we consider more than one market more, more than one factor market then automatically MRP will not be the demand curve but the intersection points joined together we will get a demand curve which will be DL so finally is the new demand curve considering variable factors to be many more than one variable.